welcome to this evening on the way home coffee vlog Friday the 24th of April and happy Apple Watch launch day I suppose is it launch day or you could call it launch day and delivery day the day everyone gets their Apple watches so uh, yes did you get a little bundle of joy in the post from Apple uh, and if so which one was it any good did you like it and whatever else things like that I've been watching keeping an eye on Twitter during the day seeing what's going going on and yeah lots of exciting people looking forward to receiving their new bundle of Apple joy uh, this of course includes Apple Watcher on Twitter if you've been keeping an eye on him uh, very excited about his little delivery uh, and some great photos actually when it did arrive so it does look nice um, so yeah, lots of excited people. Um, some not so happy people. Uh, I know there's a couple of people I follow on Twitter um, who did pre-order probably within minutes of being able to order on the 10th at 8 a.m. And uh, they haven't actually had their order shipped yet. Um, partly this could be due to the fact that the sport in um, Space Gray, aluminium, uh, there was only one sport model in that configuration um, it looks like that was in very high demand black strap and the, the, the space grey body foam um, and that's caused some issues um, of course it does nothing for them that they've not received theirs today on launch day despite pre-ordering so early and then there are people who've said you know I ordered last week I ordered three days ago a white and aluminium sport and got shipping for delivery today so you know it's supposed to be sold out in June well sold out and no delivery till June and evidently Apple still had plenty of stock of that model left and started shipping orders placed relatively recently that shouldn't be shipping for a long time yet so um, I mean it's fair enough if they've got the stock to ship ship it but it kind of looks bad where you've got people who pre-ordered pretty much on the button of the pre-orders going out and they're not getting stock and people who've just decided oh I'll just pick one up now because I fancy it and they're getting them mm, not great experience for people but um, certainly it looks um, it looks good from all the people who've been posting on Twitter and I'm going to catch a load of videos tonight no doubt unboxing the first little looks using the UI and things um, so it'll be interesting it's gonna be interesting to see how the real world performance is because uh, that was kind of what put me off you know uh, it's a lot of money spent on a first gen device that you've got no idea what the performance is gonna be like and you know it's like, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know if I'd use it use the features of it it's got some great features don't think I'd use them so there you are, so that's it, Apple Watch, launch day today, did you get yours, and if not, are you excited for everyone who did? Uh, other things that have been happening this week, um, I broke Yosemite 10.10.3, um, .10 um, actually got updated to 10.10.4 now, beta, to go with the 10.10.4 beta, no, 10. No, 8.4, too many dots and tens and things going on there, I think. Uh, 8.4 beta for iOS. Um, yes, I broke Yosemite completely um, in spectacular fashion. I didn't mean to, but then again, I don't often mean to break things, but I do tend to do it. Um, I uh, got a video, a video from when I went on holiday snowboarding, and um, about four gigabytes in size in my sort of now I iPhoto storage on iCloud, up there in the cloud. Uh, I wanted to share it with some family members. Um, didn't want to put it on YouTube. And it was already up in my iCloud anyway. It had already been added and uploaded there. So I'll share it via that. 
Sept said, you know, if I tried to do it through the um, the iPhoto photos app now, isn't it? Photos app. Tried to do it through that, and um, it said maximum video length for sharing was five minutes, and it would auto truncate it. So that's about fifty minute video, so it's kind of pointless sharing five minutes to fifty minutes, isn't it? Not worth it at all. So I thought, well. Why not email it? Because if I email it, now there's some logic here, if I email it, it'll be too big to email at four gigabytes. But it'll use um, like um, AirDrop, won't it? Um, so what it'll do is then instead of trying to email that big file it'll store it on my iCloud and then just like share a link to it but it's already on my iCloud because it's in photos app so what I expected to happen logically is I would share it by email it would use airdrop because it's too big to share by email but it would work out it was already in my iCloud account and not just do anything with it just link to it up there that's what I thought would happen that isn't what happened. What actually happened is, although it purported to be doing something of sharing, sending, whatever else, um, my entire MacBook Pro just started to get very, very slow while it was apparently trying to do whatever it was doing. And it kept getting slower and slower and chugging and I couldn't just move between any windows or whatever else and it wasn't really getting processor usage but temperature was going up ridiculously fans were blowing like anything uh, so I was trying to puzzle out what was going on and then I know memory was completely maxed out full and it doesn't actually use that much it's a 16 gigabyte MacBook Pro uh, so I had a look uh, and apparently not only had I used all the memory, but I had a, a 22 gigabyte swap file that was growing by about a gigabyte every few minutes. While it was doing goodness knows what, it was only a 4 gigabyte movie that was in iCloud anyway, but I don't know what it was doing. But yes, um, completely, it, it just completely slowed the whole thing down, like I say. Obviously, because it got that massive swap file going on. So, in the end I had to quit everything, and quit mail, and then reboot, and then open mail, and quit mail again, because I think it started trying to do it all over again then, and um, eventually I managed to just get back to a normal system again, and just kind of thought, I'm not bothering now, <laughs> I gave up after that, I've not worked out what I'm going to do next to share it, I just thought, yeah. That didn't work, let's leave it at that. So, um, so there you are. If you want to break Yosemite and completely cripple your computer, uh, try and share a huge video file through uh, Photos app. That will definitely do it. Uh, so, did get 10.10.4 released as well. Um, so, that's the, another beta. Um, not really sure what that brought to the table. I didn't investigate it too much. Um, New music app on 8.4 for iOS um, is nice, hasn't resolved any of the functional issues I was having, which I kind of hoped it would, so by the looks of it, it is all UI changes at the moment, certainly for the first beat, so I mean, obviously they might do more work further into it, but at the moment all they've done is change the UI, there doesn't seem to be any back-end functional changes, everything that I had going wrong is still going wrong. Um, so that's that, and then did have um, update to Windows 10 build, uh, another new update, I think that was out yesterday or the day before, um, that installed, so I had a look at that, um, kind of continuing to keep the changes of the UI updated, so when where stuff was still old, it's now getting updated to the latest versions. Um, so that's looking pretty good, to be honest, liking that. And um, 
the big change really is the start menu you can now adjust the size of as far as I could tell you you've only got a choice of like the normal start menu size or filling it full screen which does make it look for all intents and purposes a bit like the sort of the Metro UI of 8 so um, so yeah I mean you can do that I mean, it's quite good because then you can sort of spread out all those tiled apps over much more space and have more sort of tiled shortcuts to your favorite applications but um, yeah um, otherwise it looks good it's still functioning quite well not really attempted to install any of the stuff that isn't working because it probably still isn't working so but uh, there you are. Right, I need to call in the shop for some supplies. Just a small moped parked in the way. Lovely. So I shall be back after I've been in to do my shopping. Back. All oh, the last little minute or two. So, um, also would like to, uh, to sincerely apologise to Mr. Dale Suds on Twitter. Um, last night I was a little bit mean to him, if I'm honest, um, because I, I, there was a little discussion between himself and uh, Bob Bell 69 and me regarding the Apple Watch, uh, and I kind of pointed out to Dale that if he'd watched mine and Bob's vlogs, he'd know exactly what we thought about the Apple Watch and what was happening and really everything we were discussing at the time and appended that by a hashtag slacker um, which was very mean and I, uh, I do humbly apologise Dale I shouldn't have done that but of course you won't actually be watching this vlog so you won't see the apology you slacker uh, so the other thing you'll notice looking out now is it's gone a bit grey and dull and it's supposed to rain all weekend now, this isn't very interesting to anyone except, of course, if you're aware that all this week while I've been at work in a big shed where it's cold, it's been lovely and sunny. Everyone's been out enjoying the sun, enjoying themselves. Now, I get the weekend off out of my freezing cold shed and it's going to rain all weekend again. Like the other weekend, it rained all weekend after it was sunny. So, Yes, such is life. They are right. I am back home. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I hope Dale gets something productive done, other than stalking the staff of the Tatey Tatty by standing outside and filming them while they're making their delightful spuds. And uh, I hope uh, Mr. Bell manages to uh, to find something great to watch on his huge cinema display. Right, have a good weekend and I'll catch you next week's vlog.